again everyone and welcome to Draw More for Kids. Today's drawing is going to be a mermaid. Now I'm going to try and get the mermaid's head up here in the top of my page. Her body's going to come down and her scoop around and her tail's going to actually come up beside her and be up here back up with her tail up beside her head. Hopefully that's the plan. Let's see how we go. First of all I want you to think about your page maybe in three different sections. So the top third, the middle third and the lower third. And up here in this top third what I want you to do is be on this half of the page and be thinking that your page maybe is divided into six pieces. So if you drew a line down the middle and you put a line across and another line across up in this top area here, this top square, we're going to be drawing most of the head. So what I want you to do is just make a half circle shape, come back up to here. That's going to be her head. Alright, now just need to think about the dimensions and we're going to make her body coming down, scooting back up. She's going to be quite a long tailed mermaid. So around about here is where her neck is. So we're going to come down and out and around. We're going to scoop back up and we're going to come all the way up to here. What a great big line that is. So we're starting here under her head. We're coming all the way down close to the bottom of the page. Scoop it around and come back up. Leave the space at the end because this is the end of her tail but we still have to put a little tail fin on. Alright, and now we want her to have quite a bit of tail room in the middle. So we're also going to come from her neck down. We're going to scoop her back up and we're going to bring her tail a little bit closer at the end here. So now what we've done is just really made her body and she curves up here. On her tail, what I want you to do is put a little dot that would kind of make a triangle if you had an imaginary triangle at the end of her tail there. And I want you to jump over, scoop back out with a line that looks like that. This is going to be her tail fin. And we want to come back and do that in reverse. Now my lines didn't quite meet up, but that's okay because I'm just going to join my line up there like that. And that's the end of one side of her tail fin. Now we're going to jump over and we're going to do the other side of her tail fin. It's almost a hump and bump of a line, but a little bit of a point up at the end here. And then down and come back to her tail at the end there. Alright, so we've just about got her body organised. I think we should come up and have a little look at her face. What I want you to think of here, and it's going to sound a little bit unusual, is that if her whole head were to be a circular shape, which is not the unusual part, what I want you to think about is that this would be her face. From halfway down is her face and from halfway up is her hair. So in this space here is just her little face in here. So we need to work out around about halfway between this semicircle and we're going to pop a nose. Now I'm just going to do a sweet little curve over nose for her. Underneath her nose I'm going to give her some super luxurious lips by making a scallop up and come down and scoop up on that side like a little sideways S and this one in reverse jump up and down and back up again. I'm going to give her a little down and up section there. Now you could just leave her lips exactly like that but I'm actually going to give her a bottom lip as well. Alright, I'm only going to give her some little round black eyes. One on that side, one on that side, and I'm definitely giving her some lashes. So off you go and give your mermaid some lashes. She's also going to have 
some sweet little eyebrows, one that side, one that side. Now I, all, I want to work on her hair, so I'm going to give her a little part. Sometimes you can have a part come right from the middle of the head and bring the hair out that side and out that side, which is always a really good look if you're going to have ponytails, but this mermaid's going to have some flowing hair. What I actually want to do is put my part over here. So right above this eye, I'm going to put a little dot there and I'm going to come down and scoop over to this side. And on this side, I'm just going to bring it straight down and around. So from that dot, come down a little way over to this side. That finishes her fringe for one side and back scoop just around the other side. Now above this what I'm going to do is put another dot around about there and that's where I'm going to start the top of her hair to come over. Now I'm going to leave her hair just for a moment because I want to put some arms in. Arms are always difficult if you're doing a character. They're one of the most difficult things to draw so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that she's a bit sweet and quaint we're going to bring her arms around from here. We're just going to bring them out and around and we're just going to tuck them in on the side here. So it's like she's got them behind her back. So do that on both sides with a line that indicates her arms have come around and behind. And if you're really great at arms, then you can put real arms in. Maybe she could even be smiling and waving in your picture. Now because the reason I stopped doing the hair is because I want some of her hair to come in behind her body so I needed to have her arms there so that I didn't have her hair coming across the front of her arms. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up to the top of her head and then I'm going to wave her hair down to her arm. I've curved it up and over for the top of her head and then I've gone wave, 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 wave. That's going to indicate that the water's making her hair move along this side. Now what I'm going to do is come and do the other side now and I'm going to wave, wave, wave. But instead of coming straight down behind her body, I'm going to make her hair come all the way over here and come right off the page. So a little side of her head, wave, 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 stop, because you don't want her hair to come across her tail, you want it to look like her hair is coming behind her tail, so stop when you get here, and then wave, wave, and start it right off the page. This side of her hair has to come and continue over and do exactly the same thing, so we're going to pretend we've got a line that would come up, down, up, down behind her body, Wave, wave, wave to her tail, and now wave, wave off the page. That's indicating that she's got flowing hair coming along behind her. All right, now we should try and dress her up a little, I think. We need to give her a little bikini top. Let's jump over to that dot in the middle, and out to that dot on the side. Then a little dot underneath, and we can come up to that dot and over on this side, giving her a little swimsuit. Now you can decorate this. You can put all sorts of things on it if you want to make it lacy or scaly. You can give her a little frill. You can put something or a necklace or something around her neck here if you want to go even further and make her more and more beautiful. Coming down here we're going to give her her tail so I'm going to start her tail. I'm going to come down and make it look like it's around about in the middle. I hope it works. So that's one side of it there. We're going to just scoop up for her tail and over to this side and scoop up for her tail and over for this side. And now we can start to put all the scales on. This is going to take a little bit of time, but you can go at your own pace. And I might speed things up a bit. I 
Okay, so once we've got the scoops of all her scales, you'll notice that I've turned the page a little and I've made my scales turn around. So turn your page or turn your arm. When you get up here, you can start to make them a little smaller because they're coming up to her tail or the end of her tail here. The scales can be a little bit smaller. Until you get to the end. You might like to just put some lines through here. Some flowy lines will indicate her tail is moving a little. And you could put an ocean or a water line. You could have her water line coming across here and make it look like scoop up, scoop up, scoop up. And then she will be having her head out of the water. If you want to pretend that she's all completely in the water here, you could leave it as it is and have some other little animals like octopus or little fish friend, or she could have some rocks and some shells around here and you can decorate that up in your own style. So that's our mermaid for today. So if you like this picture, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel Draw More For Kids, or you can upload your pictures to Instagram with the hashtag Draw More For Kids or tag Draw More For Kids. I think that's it for today everyone. I hope you enjoy making your mermaid. Bye for now.